since the only involvement I had in the Wi-Fi race was to sit around and laugh at Team MILF, uh, I'm going to hand this over to Trevor. Oh, dude, I hate the microphone. You know, you know I don't do well with crowds. Right there. All right, cue up the blue mic, gay for the speaker. So anyway, hey everybody. Oh. You know, Acidus was right when he said, "I really don't like the lights because I can't see a motherfucker in this room for anything." Have you seen this crowd? I don't think you want to. That is true. You are correct. I probably shouldn't. So anyway, guys. Fourth year, the Wi-Fi race 2008. We're having a good old time. Got some good, uh, good fun stuff. We're going to do the uh, breakdown of the awards. <clears throat> we, uh, I, I, hey, anyone ever done a presentation, you know, you go back and you just kind of take the shit you have and you redo it. So <clears throat> we did have to do the addition of we came, we drove, team milk sucked. <laughs> All right. So the Wi-Fi race set up. Off-the-shelf access point, no mods. I actually have the receipt. I have pictures of me taking it out of the box. No, I did not tape the power cord in decode. I didn't have to. Second, web server running FreeBSD 6.2. Reliable, won't break down. Got a Whistler inverter. Everything's mounted to a plank. Oh, wood. We would have brought it down here, but we couldn't carry the beer and everything else. So we left that in the room. You can come by and see it while I'm not there. And a dude nobody knew. So... One more. Everybody, the Fox, come on up. This is my buddy C Blind. He was a sleeper. No one knew who, uh, who he was going to be this year. So I, um, I worked with him. He uh, does forensics in town. Wonderful fella. Tell you what his real name is, but uh, you'll see it in the video when I kept using it. It happens. So um, as it. It worked out the beginning of the race. I ran around and, and was pretty foxy. And then eventually I started slowing down. And then we had to tell you that I, I was north of Broadway. <laughs> and then it actually got interesting because I saw about five or six of you out there. And then I slowed down even more and finally got a tail and then a second tail. And then finally I was caught. Good deal. Hit it. So, the Wi-Fi race rules. We have four-man teams maximum. The driver, if you checked out the website, uh, cannot monitor the laptop, so you have three people that can work inside the vehicle. have to be FCC compliant on hardware, if possible. Deco, did we get a ruling whether or not that big-ass antenna in the back of your vehicle? Uh, I, I know the people that were behind you can no longer have kids, okay? <laughs> I swear to God, if you didn't say it, Let's see, we got, we're going to have pictures up on the website. It took up the ass end of the van, okay? 26 dB. Didn't help, though, did it? <laughs> yeah! No, 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 I got the microphone. I got the microphone. Huh? I doubt it. Three different things includes volume. So anyway, <laughs> we look good doing it. All right, truth be told, Team MILF actually had team shirts, um, crammed everybody into the vehicle. They did a good job. They tried hard and didn't work. So don't be a whiner if you can't use the tools. Hit it. So how it worked, find the SSID, which is Wi-Fi Race 2007. Um, I mistyped it. It was... Uppercase, not lowercase for the W. No big deal. Oh, oh, where's JV? JV70D. Someone wave, okay? I'm like blinded by this shit, man. Anyway, so I harped on Decode and I harped on Shadow 404 for making sure that their website matched up with their forum and all the other fun stuff. Unfortunately, I messed up. Uh, JV7 found the only error that I know of that was on my web page and it said it started at 10.30. So we have this guy come rolling up and go, yeah, uh, where's the Wi-Fi race start? An hour and a half late. <laughs> but he did get out. He competed. He worked hard. So I appreciate that. Track the fox. Associate with access point. Obtain an IP address. <clears throat> this is from last year, of course. Use a tool. 
Scan the IP range and go. So we have a little video here. This is to prove it worked. Blue mic. Here we have our car. All right, you're Gabriel. You're plugging it back in. No, nobody told us. Okay. Get on right. Okay, that is the the IP address. Turn up. James, you suck. That's <laughs> Got the acquiring command and map dash P zero. Actually, we don't even have to use P zero. One nine two dot one six eight dot one dash. Actually, let's go two to two fifty four. We're at twenty seconds. Invalid target. Help if I type that correctly. Uh huh. Yeah. What was the IP address? Yeah. yeah what Come server? take a look. I want to know what the IP We're at 30 seconds. 29 host completed search. 8 seconds, 12 seconds gets me... What is my percent done? This is the board. Yeah. That you were trying Bounce to make. <laughs> I was hitting that right. 25.3 to 30 seconds. 49.49%. I never find the IP address. We are at 45 or 55 seconds. 73.23% done, 89.10% done. Yeah, there you go. The IP address is 192.168.1.212. We're out to type that into the web page. You found the fox. Proof of concept decode, it works if you scan the entire range. <coughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. The code is U47FH9JWE. Two kids and, and their family in a minivan whipped your ass. <laughs> Gabriel, Gabriel, thank you, sir, for being the doctor. Good no job. Problem. Absolutely. All right. Let's get this. Well, every bit of that. So here's the rig. Okay? So where were you? Well, um, I... Okay. So anyway, who's used NMAP? I can't see anyway. What the fuck? Okay. So... Here's the command in map. Didn't have to do uh, dash capital P because I wasn't worried about anything not responding to a ping. Finished the scan, 253 in 39.62 se seconds. Okay, so I was sitting on the back end of the car, but it's pretty close. So Dolomite reaches over, shoves me out of the way, and says, Hey, search just for port 80, completes it in 19.297 seconds. I don't know, guys. All I know... We, we made it work many, many times, did it? Hi, and, hey, hey, there was a Chinese restaurant in that little strip mall, okay? We had difficulties. Got a parking lot. You rode his bumper for 25 minutes. Come on. <laughs> With five laptops, you DDoS to Linksys WRT54G. Hey, let me ask you a question. While you were doing that, why are the people in the front row whipping your tail doing the same thing? Behind you. What about? You were too busy. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. What? Anyway. Get the next one. So anyway, this is what you'd see. Here was the code, which I got. Um... Actually, by text message from the winner. Hit the next one. So here's our teams. Damage Incorporated, those schmoo people, Porter and Bill, or BCPH, uh, Sargon's Army, all that's evil.net crew, Input Output, the Wi-Fi guys, and Masturbators in Lost Frequencies. So who won? It's those schmoo people. So come on up, guys. You can't stand behind the podium. No one's going to see you. Come on over here. So, I think you remember what's up next. So, uh, so here's the schmoo people. There's Taryn. There's Bobby. Where's Heidi at? Where's Heidi? Where's Heidi? And here's Heidi's husband. 
<laughs> so, hit it one more time. They found it in three hours, 16 minutes, 14 minutes shy of the end of the race. So, they worked very, very hard. Bruce, you want to say anything? Sure. Okay, I know you do. So, did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, man. Hold on, he's got a speech. My mom did a walk. Mom did all the work. Um. Okay. Most. So, real quick, um, we came here without planning to uh, actually participate or even knowing about this, so I apologize for those people that actually prepared. Um, no! We went to Cop USA and brought an Honest to God branded Cantena TM. Um, I wanted to peel the sticker off, but I didn't have time because I'm kind of embarrassed that I own one. Um, so what was interesting is first we, we found the fox. Uh, we didn't actually find the car initially, but we found him in the um, uh, south part of Nashville on the other side of the race for the cure that was going on. So he was kind of boxed in, um, and we kept losing him. So we would go up on the freeway with a Yagi and point down and kind of figure out where he was at and then get down the surface roads again with an Omni and try to find him. And we chased him around for a while. Then we ended up doing an entire loop around the city and getting stuck in construction for 20 minutes. And we were like, well, it's over. Like, we're going to get beat. Still didn't get beat because nobody else could figure this out. Um, and then the, the real kicker was we got to downtown north of Broadway. And we kept driving around areas and getting signal. And I'm like, this isn't making any sense. Like, he's clearly on the move constantly. So let's just park, like, on the edge of the street in a parking lot, just point it out on a one-way road and see when the signal strength gets really high. So we're sitting there, and, and Heidi's rattling off the numbers to me. It's like 99, 100, 110, 112, 115, 115, 115. And there's a stoplight, and there's this Mazda stop the stoplight. I'm like, okay, so that's the fox. So as soon as this guy turns, we're going to follow him, and then we're just going to you know, do what we got to do to get, to get it uh, on the box. This is made complicated by the fact that we're using an external radio to to do all the scanning that I didn't actually have a driver for to give an IP address to. So while we could see this thing at like 150 yards away with the antennas, I had to be like basically in the guy's trunk with a laptop to use the internal card that was in the laptop. So like even though we could see it like all the time, we couldn't actually like try to associate and get an IP address because we didn't have the right driver. This is a Mac and I'm talking about a driver issue, yes. Um, anyway, so he turns the corner and then right behind him I see decoding the whole crew directly behind him. So decode and crew have obviously already found the fox, but we haven't been notified that they won yet, so they clearly can't get in. Which uh, I didn't. Uh, uh, my kids are here. I won't repeat what I said. Um, so, so anyway, uh, they were there. <laughs> right behind, who was driving the red uh, the VW, V Dub in the house? The Jetta. Are they here? So there was a red Jetta that was that was also participating and he was right behind decode and i managed to squeeze in between decode and the red jetta so now we got this line of the fox decode us and the red jetta so i figured we've got this trail of three vehicles on the fox well we get up to the next stoplight the red jetta pulls up next to him and turns You're just like going the other way he didn't realize that he was in a caravan following the fox he just went the other way like, i got rid of some of the competition so then they start, I'm not sure if you just weren't paying attention, but you ran a couple of red lights. And oh, they were yellow. Oh, there was one that was like, I'm like, I'm going out and it was red, and they just kept going. I'm like, I got my family in the car. It's not like I got decoded. I don't care. So we had to stop and reacquire the signal. So we actually had a legitimate reason why it took us a few minutes versus decode, which I'm just not sure why. So anyway, uh, that was it. In my defense? I'm sorry. <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's true, everybody's here because of the minivan. Uh, anyway, yep, yeah, yeah. Oh, and we, yeah, I still wanted to make sure everybody knew we found the fox the first time, like in two and a half minutes after the contest started. So, uh, anyway, thanks very much. It was a good time. All right. So, uh, we got a couple things for you. Lady Merlin, you want to give out the, uh, the dog tags? I would like to be a no? gracious loser and say it was great to see that you guys won. It was a very good race, and I'm so proud that it was you guys that won. That was awesome. That was awesome. Since we were the former champions, it's only rightful to pass. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Everybody, this is my boy, Decode. 
And he takes a lot of crap from me. And the reason he does is because so he'll, he'll let me give him crap. So <laughs> Just a little. Just a little, yeah. He's but good. a good Wi-Fi race this year. We had a lot of fun. We did. We had an absolute blast. We had a lot of fun. But I'll tell you what, it's all about these guys. Absolutely. These are the future here actors, and they Come won. Here. Come here, Bobby. That's awesome. Ready? You got it. Boom. Boom. Hit it. Pull it back. Turn it. Yeah. All right. That's it, guys. So, so here we go. We have the official trophy of the Wi-Fi race. We got our Mr. Potato Head with a cantina working his laptop. All right. This is for you guys, okay? Take it home, put it on the mantle. Okay. Also, since you guys did all the work, don't tell them your mom did it. For each one of you, we have a $50 gift card to Best Buy. So you guys can go get some more toys. All right. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Now it's bedtime. That's awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Next year, they're coming back bigger and badder, I tell you. So Wi-Fi Race 2008, what are our ideas? We've been some, given some ideas. We came up with some things. Capture the flag. Tag your it. Who has the most ineffective gear? Decode, are you going to win that one? Is that, is that you? Or is that one or who smells in here? Because there was a lot of people in Decode's vehicle, I swear. There's, there, was no, there was funk room, but just a little. Hey, no, 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 let me explain something. You and me, we get to say there was a lot of people in the car. A lot of people in the car, baby. <laughs> there you go. Load them up, baby, load them up. And largest unsubstantiated boast. I think Decode's got uh, two, let's see, uh, no, three. Ah, fuck, he can take them all, I don't care. So, uh. So anyway, had a wonderful time. I'm glad everybody came out and had a good time, wanted to be involved. We had eight teams. How many did we have last year? Five, I think. Something like that. We had a, a few more this year. It was a really good time. So if you want to do a Wi-Fi race in your area, I have the wi race.com domain. I'll give you a third level, standard set of rules. We have a, a, a no bitching closets and all this. No fees, no bullshit, just have fun. So anyway... Thank you. Oh, here one more time. That's my trademark. There we go. So anyway, everyone, everyone that competed, they were very tenacious to sit in a car for three hours and 16 minutes driving all over Helen Half Acre in Nashville trying to find a wireless access point in the back of a car. So anyway, give everyone who uh, actually got out and gave it a shot, let's give them a hand. Let's get that full screen if we can. Next up. Oh, you got to be kidding. Did you have to take it with a camera phone? All right. We're going to announce the uh, winners of the uh, best tinfoil hat contest. Uh, do we have anybody who is just now showing up with a tinfoil hat? Do we have any last-minute entries? I see some familiar entries. What about that? Yes, our uh, Samurai. Hey, there we go. All right. Hero Nakamura? Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, so I see this one in the back of the room. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and do the next one here. And, uh, yeah, next slide, please. Anyway, this one All right, we have the Falacat. 
It's an aluminum cock. Here we have the lovely Princess Potter. Does look a bit like a uh, tiara. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one that's today now. Hot and horny. <laughs> the Frankenbean tap. <laughs> Next. Uh, we have a full fledged aluminum foil costume. <laughs> Yeah, where's my cat over here? All right. That's the last one to see, and then we have the samurai. Okay. Do what? Oh, I couldn't find it. Oh! And then here we have the paper. The iron poke. But my original, I made only with what you gave me in that little survival kit. Yeah, I, people, some people were going around saying, that's not fair, you used more foil than we had in the kit. We never said that you could only use what was in the kit. I mean, it's a starter kit, you know. If you buy a first aid kit and you run out of Band-Aids, do you just let all your open bleed? No, you go buy more freaking Band-Aids. If you need it, get it. All right. So uh, we've confirmed. Are we still uh, in agreement as to which one? I, I honestly, I think. Well, I think, it, I think it depends on whether or not it was worn. Do we have a full aluminum foil suit in the house? Come on. Get her up here. We told her she had to wear it. I don't see aluminum foil. I can't see anything. I can't either. Oh, 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 <laughs> I don't remember needing a Vanna. I appreciate you filling in, but God, my eyes are burning. <laughs> and it's not for the whole. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Him somewhere, please. Please. Yeah. Again. Again. Someone remove this <laughs> naked child. Naked child. <laughs> naked child. <laughs> so anyway, these ceiling tiles back here, don't we need to talk Yeah, we got a little water here. Uh -huh. And uh yeah. Looks like some smoke from over yeah, okay. <laughs> No, it's just not okay, please. <laughs> no, it's no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know right now there is a state trooper outside probably waiting for me. <laughs> hey, hey, Al, let me make you more comfortable. You didn't wear your costume. We told you you had to wear your costume. It's because you were wearing your fucking hat. Hey, Well, we have video, but it'll be on sale later on. I don't know. There's not enough cleavage in the picture, really. To I, I tried yeah. to adjust the cleavage, and I got chastised for that. Is I he here on stage right now? Yeah. Well, he can get two, three articles of clothing off before he can get up here. Oh, no, hey, where's the security team? I get, I bet. No, I'm sorry, the hospitality. Hospitality, of course. I could keep him from getting up here, but I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. Okay. Now, actually, it all seems. No, no, no. You, you can stay away. That's all right. Sit down. You, you can stay away. Stay away. Yeah. He's fine. No, no, no. Yeah, go on. Yeah. She's in good hands. She's fine. Yeah. In just a moment. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll put it all three. Uh, 
of all the instructions, this one was definitely the one where they went all out. I was hoping she had a holster and a laser yeah. gun. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry we got a little inebriated while working on this and spent too much time doing the Wi-Fi race stuff, so I just kind of had to do some video captures. You, you can see by the quality it sucks, but it was very magnificent, especially when we opened the window and she stepped into the sunshine. <laughs> she glowed. Oh, dear Lord, she glows. She glows. Absolutely wonderful. So. All right, would you, would you like to pay attention to the people who are trying to give you an award? Yeah. The guys with the microphone. you know, he's not giving you shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go sit down. Yeah. Go sit down. Sorry. Do you want the award? Huh? Do you want the award? Yes. How bad do you want it? Bad. Really? I want it bad. Really, really bad. Really, really bad. Good, because that's the only way I give it is bad. Give it to bad. Me. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. <laughs> only at Freaknik can we stand in front of everybody with microphones and make fun of ourselves and get away with yeah, it. Yeah, I'll get up. That's all for us on our weekend. I tell you, we've got to go. Yeah. Let's go with <laughs> so. Anything. I'm too drunk to speech. You're too drunk to speech? <laughs> Somebody take her back to her room. Yeah. I'm too drunk to speech. Hey, Bruce. Is Bruce pointing to the right hand? I'm too drunk to speech. Your hand, your hand is still wobbling when you say right there. <laughs> Do you mean the whole room? <laughs> Oh, he's got a breathalyzer. Oh, he's got a breathalyzer. Here we go. Here we go. Katonic, Katonic, you get to brag you got blown at Freak Dick, man. It says sorority girl. Oh, sorority girl. All right. She scored high or low. Oh, baby, do you ever get the prize? <laughs> you know what? You, what Scott, you, I'll get ready to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Just uh, turn I'm around and bend over. Yeah. I'm going to give it to you. <clears throat> Say wolf, baby. Say wolf. Are you ready, for, are you ready for the prize? Okay. So, um, it could be. It could be. So, uh, um, so Dolomite and I um, kind of got bored and started uh, doing Very bored. Very bored and very drunk. Started doing some homebrew. So uh, Dolomite gets me doing uh, uh, German cider, and uh, so then he starts feeding it to me out of his kegerator in his room, and uh, I started making stuff. So our award for the uh, impromptu best tin foil hat is a baked potato. Yes. Well, with any baked potato, you have to have aluminum foil. <laughs> so, so no, it gets better. It gets better. This is the south of the border alien invasion. This, this was the original concept with uh, uh, one and a half glasses, and uh, so in, in uh, the true tra uh, true tradition of the papal, we had to come up with something else. There you go, baby. The potato pope. The potato pope. That's it. So, and then you had the. Uh, Oh, here we go. This oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's even better. Even better. So, so um... Hold these on as you're taking them home. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, the way that we're going to party later on really became, uh, after the fifth glass, kind of gave me some inspiration. So, we have the, uh... Alf hat. <laughs> it's the boxer short tinfoil hat. <laughs> and the man that started it, Kerbob, when we rolled up on you... We have the Viking helmet. There we go. And then what was the last one? That was the skull cap. Was oh, I got in like it. Yeah, oh. the yamaka. The yamaka. Hat. Yamaka. Now this was this became when I was too drunk to actually make one, and I just kind of started crushing it onto its head. So we're just gonna that's gonna fucked up. Yeah, yeah. This is nice. This is yours. Your, you can have a aluminum foil. Yes. Yeah. Piece of plastic with you too. Oh, she's oh, not my God. There. Your cup's empty. We've got to wrap it up. Am I done? You're, You're oh. done. Well, 
Joe, you're done up here. Yeah. Yeah. Back there, you the know. rest of your prize is in uh, room, what was it? 8-12. 8-12, 10 o'clock. For some jiggy pop. So, uh, so we've been asked to kind of stretch it out a little bit. No, 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 no. We've still got six, six minutes. No, no. What? We still got the scavenger hunt. Oh, dude! Yeah. So you need to shut the hell up and get out and go uh, drink some more. Um, um. No, I was supposed to talk about something. You're supposed to pimp the bot shop. Oh, the bot shop. Who knows who the bot shop is? Clearly, no one's paying attention. So uh, we've got uh, uh, some cards laying around for the bot shop. It's uh, our good friend Jessica. She started a company. They're selling UPIC devices with some robotics. She's in the back corner. Wait, Jess. And when she gets too much drink, and when she gets too much, too much drink in her, she loses clothing. Yeah, yeah. No. Was that last year? Was that, was was that your room? Or? That was this year. That wasn't that last night? <laughs> so anyway, also I've been tapped in the shoulder three or four times. During the Why You Suck, whatever presentation we're having from uh, the little Asian over here, we're going to have all the volunteer shirts back in the back. Uh, if you've done your... Uh, if you've done your time, go back to the back and uh, talk Ronnie to Lady Merlin to yeah. get your shirt. Okay. We appreciate you coming out and doing all, all the barbecue. heavy lifting and all the fun work for us. And uh, mm. thanks a lot. You smell like pork. Yeah, we went to barbecue. Uh, the deco's over here sniffing my clothing, saying I smell like pork shoulder. All right, so uh, next we're handing this over to Deco, Shadow 404, and Scott Chick, who. Uh, Basically, uh, Shadow had uh, been talking to me, saying, man, I'd really like to get involved with Freaknik. I'd like to do something, you know, maybe around geocaching or something like that. So I said, all right, well, why don't you uh, throw on a uh, geocaching slash scavenger hunt kind of event? And uh, that's what they did. So uh, they managed to collect a lot of prizes. And uh, how many uh, teams did you end up having? Uh, we have five teams. Five teams. Okay, good. Not bad for the first one. Oh, we got a... Uh, Presentation? No, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to hand the mic over to you guys. Okay. All right. Um, you want to go first? Well, um, I was going to give out the prizes. Why don't you go ahead and set up, like, what did we do? Okay. Basically. Oh, you mean a microphone. Okay. Um, basically, the scavenger slash geocaching event. Um, basically... We had a list of items, um, everything from, um, that was alien-based. We had alien survival. Um, what else do we have? Well, we, we were kind of playing on the whole, we're going to be sued, man! <laughs> did I do that? Did I do that well? Yeah! We're going to be sued, man! No, I'm not drunk enough. Sorry, I'm not allowed to drink anymore. <laughs> I didn't I make you an asshole, Jesse. <laughs> I was going to be an asshole anyway, but now I'm an asshole earlier. <laughs> but I love you anyway. Not in our way. Sorry, Al. I can only hope. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So basically, uh, what did so, you? Yeah. So we, we, we took the Jesse's theme. And we said, you know, if we're going to do scavenger hunt stuff, how can we actually... Hold the microphone. It's got a cable on it. Isn't this like 2002 or something? Don't we have wireless shit now? Anyway. So you give me the wired mic. All right, I'm pumped. <laughs> Moment of silence, please. No, I mean, shut the fuck up. Really. Um, so we, we took the theme and we said, okay, we're going to do alien shit. Like, so, you know, we wanted to, we wanted to see if anybody was going to come to Freaknik with, like, your bug out kit. How many, how many of you have a bug out kit? One bug. Excellent, you fucking Double paranoid three, three, freaks. Four, five. How many of you have an alternate identity? Dumbasses, you told me. <laughs> Can I keep doing this or what? So, um, so, so we pulled off this whole list of shit. 
And did, did we get any of the assless chaps pictures? No, unfortunately, no. Al, you didn't join? You didn't play the... Jesus Christ. We did get pictures of guys with tampons. Raise your hands. Two teams. There you yeah, go. Pull right back there. Right back there. Yeah. Are you married? Are you married? You're going to be real soon. <laughs> Okay. So, so yeah, we, we had a lot of fun kind of coming up with ideas, and, and Shadow and I came up to, uh, to Nashville, I don't know what, three, four weeks ago or yeah, something like that? Ago. Three weeks ago. And placed some geocaches around the city. How many of you don't know what geocaching is? Okay. Well, good people. Fucking awesome. That's good. I'm not going to tell you. Look it up. So, basically, geocaching was, um, there was two caches for physical. Uh, those were where you actually go and actually sign a container when you find it. The first container was the uh, Freaknik commemorative cache, which I'm going to leave here after we leave the event, um, the, I'm sorry, the event, the convention. And that was literally 200 feet from the front door. Oh, bubbly! Shut up! Sorry, it's shadow. Oh, bubbly! It's shadow. That's what he does. Yeah, I know. And um, it was literally 200 feet from the front door of the hotel. Um, Anybody want some mints? You want mints? Can I throw these? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so anyway, the geocaches were placed around. We had one uh, right outside the door. We had uh, we had a we had a we had a really nice one. Did anybody get the uh, the big brother? The big brother. Two people got big brother. Did you get it with an employee? Okay. For those of you that got the big brother, what was big brother? Yeah. And you took a picture of it? Yeah. Fucking great. I thought somebody was going to get arrested for sure. That was kind of the plan because then Al was going to bail him out. Right. Okay, come on down front here because Al wants to meet you. So um, anyway, so we, we had the federal building and we had this really really nice one that we put together called Sky Dog's Third Nipple. Because right over here on the other side of the stadium, there's these three mounds. There's this big mound that looks like a breasticle. There's another big mound that looks like a breasticle, and then there's a little third nipple in the middle. And so we called it Sky Dog's third nipple because, because he has one. It's little, but it's like you've got the big mound, the other big mound, and then the little mound. And that was a two-stage. That, that, was a, that was a really cool one because it's a two-stage geocache. You have to find the first cache, and it tells you where to find the second cache. And we had one team, one team find both caches, which was kick-ass. That was cool. That's uh, that that's good work. Um, especially, it was nice to know that we put the work into putting this together, and you actually competed, and it didn't cost you anything, and you get a chance to win real cool free shit. Okay, and I want to talk about this for a second because we're going to try and do this again next year, and we have no idea what kind of prizes we're going to get next year. I went to my marketing department at the company I work for, which is a lot of the shit you'll see here. And they gave you hepatitis. They did that. And more. Okay. So I've got some really cool swag stuff up here from my marketing department. That's why, you know, like I'm throwing mints out that are made in China. Okay, so watch the lead. Um... <laughs> And, and so, you know, we have the prizes in order, uh, in reverse order. Um, we have the losers, and they get this empty can. Where are you? No losers? Ah, oh, fuck. I thought I had them going there. Um, work with me here. Um, so we had third prize, which was? And, and what did they win? They get a resilience coffee mug. It's unstoppable. Okay, it's resilience. I don't know if it leaks or not. I've never used it um, much. And uh, it's got a lid. And then there's a really cool pen with my company's name on it that's also a laser pointer. 
So you'll have a laser pointer wherever you want. And then there's a, uh, a really cool lipstick style pen, uh, USB drive. Yes, Al, it's a lipstick style. You twist it, and then the little USB thing comes out. It gets an erection. Hey, Al's really into data transfer, so hook up with him later. And in third place, am I mumbling? Can anyone understand the accent? It's the fighting mongooses, whoever you are. Fighting mongooses? Anyone? Anyone? Come get your shit. You win. You absolutely win. Now you have to share your prize with each other or not. Okay. And, and, and any words of wisdom? How did you, how did you, how did you place third? Yeah. We packed a lot of shit to bring with us. And where did you come from? Pennsylvania. They came from Pennsylvania to come down here. So they, they packed a lot of shit. <laughs> okay, so now in, in, in for the second place prize, <laughs> and you would know. In second place, there's two more of these lipstick thumb drives. And a, uh, a really, uh, 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 the bigger size coffee mug. This is from a company called IntenseSchool.com. If you know who they are, I'm sorry. Um, it's another side of the business I work for, and they do boot camp training, so whatever. Um, and so it's bigger coffee, basically. That's the good side. And it's free. That was even better. So, and the winner of that is? And in second place, with 485 points, we have Input Output. Input output. Fuck off. Get your input and output up here. So you guys can fight over the lipstick. Which one wears it, Al? <laughs> okay, now, now, go ahead. Depends on who it is that puts it on me. Who she is. Who it is that puts it on you. Uh, uh, she? Who she is. Okay, now, this is the one I, I almost didn't want to bring this. How, how many of you know what this is? It's a sealed box. It's actually, it's actually a checkpoint firewall. It's a waste of money. It's a free checkpoint firewall. With a full license. This is what is known as an NFR, not for resale copy. Okay, I got this from my marketing department, which means the winners cannot resell this on eBay or any other public forum. Okay, if you want to sell it amongst yourselves, that's fine. It's, a, it's worth approximately $1,000. Okay. And the reason my marketing department gave it to me is because they don't know what the fuck it was. <laughs> and they're like, do you want this? And I went, sure. And I actually thought of keeping it for my lab, but I already have one. So I said, no, it'd be really cool. So the point that I'm making here is when we do this again next year, we have no idea what kind of cool swag we're going to be able to pull out of marketing departments. Hopefully we'll be able to top this next year. And when we said thousand dollars worth of prizes, we weren't fucking full of shit. Actually, it's more like three thousand at this point. So the the winner of the winner of the checkpoint firewall and the team that has to figure out how the fuck they're gonna share it is with eight hundred and ninety five points. It is BCX3. Well done. And I know who I'm giving it to. Okay, I'll give it to the people. Give it to the people. <laughs> I'm an equal opportunity asshole. Is, is that not right, Scott? I'm an equal opportunity asshole. I don't know about that. So guys, 
up this year's scavenger hunt and we're going to be looking for ideas for next year so please feel free to drop a line to any of us uh, we're on IRC uh, my email is mr.decode at gmail.com and if you don't know how to spell it you won't get to me um, and other than that um, we enjoyed having you guys play and I hope that those of you that did participate had a lot of fun <laughs>